He pleaded guilty to the murder of a retired Shaker Heights school teacher back in 1985. Will go before a parole board today. Alexander Bayless has served the last 38 years in prison, but one man is fighting to keep Bayless behind bars. Brianna Dahlquist has more. Brianna, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Dave. Listen, that parole hearing is set just hours away from now, and it will determine if Alexander Bayless is eligible for parole in the next coming months or even weeks. The then 18-year-old Alexander Bayless lived a life of privilege. He was a son of doctors and lived on Van Aken Boulevard in Shaker Heights. In 1985, he pled guilty to murdering retired school teacher Marsha McClellan and received 30 years to life. Life. The former Cuyahoga County Assistant Prosecutor Chris Schroeder wrote a parole opposition letter back in 2019. Now he's now a U.S. attorney in Alaska, but sent another opposition letter two weeks ago because he says this case still haunts him. He broke into Miss McClellan's home. He beat her in the head with a fireplace poker until the poker broke. He strangled her with the cord from a steam iron. Then he dragged her unconscious body upstairs filled up the bathtub, held her head under the water until she drowned. And then after that, to make sure that she was dead, he poured bleach and toilet bowl cleaner down her throat. Now, I did some digging to see just how extensive his criminal history sheet was, and he's been arrested multiple times for domestic violence and theft and burglary, and among many others. Now, that parole is blockparole.com. That was Schroeder was talking about to go ahead and keep Bayless behind bars. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland, I'm Brianna Dahlquist. Dave, back to you. Yeah, just tough to listen to all of that. All right, Brianna, thank you. We'll see you later yeah. this morning.